presentation day! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited! I have my favorite shirt on. It's like 60 degrees outside, so I have my long pants on. And okay, goals for today. I'm gonna talk to everybody. I'm gonna make some friends and talk to all the teachers and advisors and everybody. And I'm not going to let my anxiety get to me. I don't care if I sound obnoxious to people. I'm gonna talk my ass off. <laughs> so if this creeps you out, just think of it if you saw it in VR. <laughs> oh, no. Again, all the technology in the world, and this is what we're doing. <laughs> was the end of my long what is what is what is eight to four thirty eight and a half hours of orientation it's a lot of information but it's super fun I got to meet a lot of people I'm so excited too everything sounds so cool <sighs> just information overload right now though it is day two of orientation. It's only a half day today, so hopefully I won't be as tired by the end of the day. But um, it is early in the morning. Oh my god. But I have an 8 a.m. class, so I better get used to it. Everybody here is so, like, dressed so good. Everybody looks so good, so I tried. I just have my usual button-ups on, but it's so cold outside in the mornings. <laughs> Yeah, hopefully it'll be a fun one today too. Got my ID! A rainy day calls for a show that I have no idea what's going on and some cookies! So I got myself a new sketchbook for a school year. I put some stickers on it to know which side is up. But um, yeah, I like to keep I like to make a little collage on the first page so it's not as intimidating to start fresh. But yeah, it's like a mood board. Everything that I like, everything that I collected over the years, just place into one. First day of classes! Oh my gosh! So my very first class is an online class, so I had to join via MS Classroom thing. I was studying the library and this couple came up to me and said they loved my drawing notes and that made my day so I had to give them a little note. Okay, I'm on my way home from my first day of classes and I Judging from that one digital illustration class I took, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know if I like it. I mean, we haven't done anything, you just explain what we're going to do, but I don't know. It sounds a lot like graphic design to me, and I don't know if I like it, but we'll see. Tomorrow's the big day because I have three studio art classes, and it's so much harder mingling as a transfer student as a junior because you're in these upper level classes. They already know the way around school. They already have their little friend groups. And I'm just like, hello, hi. But yeah, it was an eventful day. I'm sure it'll get better, but I just need to tell myself to calm down and take it slow. I think I expected too much of myself today. School was great, but like I thought I would be better, but of course, Stupid me. I gotta eat. I'm hungry. I had lunch with a girl from Alabama. I thought I would never see anybody from Alabama, but that's that's pretty cool. I stepped in a like a muddy puddle, so that's why I am washing my shoes right now. <laughs> uh, wonderful first day, right? Uh, dumb question. How do I like um 
unfogged my windshield. <laughs> my name is Ayuka. I go with she, her pronouns, and I'm an illustration major. What I like to make, I love oil painting dead fishes. Um, <laughs> and I love making fish characters, basically, especially fish with legs. So yeah. So <laughs> yeah, and the character whose design I like is, um, feels very doughboy. <laughs> <laughs> I hate the first few days of school because we walk in and then the teacher just goes over the syllabus and it's like, okay, bring your stuff next class and then we're done. See you next class. It's like, I came all the way here for this 15 minute thing that you posted online that I could have saw at home. Now what am I supposed to do for three hours, you know? But I just went home and I took a nap for an hour and came back, so how fun. We have a guest today on our show. It is Goose. Would you like to say something? Cool. Wow. Who knew I was capable of feeling so many emotions in such a short time? Like, I was feeling confident, sad, anxious, hopeful, frustrated, insecure, sad, but happy, but so free at the same time. Like, all the words on the emotional wheel. So it's been three weeks since I moved and I just finished two weeks of school and I'm still very much adjusting to the change but I've already had so many emotional crises. I lost track of time and I thought time was going by so fast but in reality it's been like two days or something. First I was frustrated at myself that I wasn't able to make friends or talk to people or make connections. But like, your closest friends took like so many years to build. Why? Are you? It's it's not gonna happen in a week, dude. Then I had a crisis about feeling behind because I'm a transfer student and I'm in these upper level classes and everybody knows how to use these fancy Adobe softwares and the Cintiq tablets and how to use this and resources. And I'm just like, so what's the dimension for a plain sheet of paper? One specific thing that I was going on about was from all the career talks and teachers talking about like internships and job opportunities and networking and I was like, oh, I don't know anything about that and I am planning on graduating in two years. But I've already learned a valuable lesson from all of this. In my entrepreneur class, we have a project of making something for our gallery show. And I was showing my professor my two sketch ideas. And she asked, so which one are you more passionate about? And I was like, I don't know. I thought you were gonna give me some advice. <laughs> and. Another time was I was talking to my career advisor and I was just kind of ranting about how I had no idea what I was doing and he was like, okay, so what do you want to do? And I was like, I don't know. So I realized that I need to live my own life. That sounds so simple and dumb, but I did some reflecting and I realized that I always seek validation from others. Like some is good, but to the point where you can't make your own decisions and 
expecting others to make them for you. Mm. Like there's a template of what I'm supposed to do. And if that says that I have to do that, then I'm gonna do it. Screw that, I am an artist. I make things from scratch. So my goal for this semester is going to be learn, to learn how to calm down and take one thing at a time and to find my own art, my own voice, and my own passion. Man, art school is so much different than a state school. <laughs> and living in a big city is so much different than Alabama. There's so much more I would say, but I'm gonna keep this short because I know you all's attention spans are like two seconds. So check out my art account. It's kind of all over the place right now, but I have some projects in mind that's in the workings. A little, a little hint for you. Thank you so much for watching. Tell me what you think. Ask questions, comment. I love that. So I'm gonna go stretch my wrist because I am already feeling the symptoms of carpal tunnel. <laughs>